Well, hello and welcome to Jessic Biking. Today is um, Fallout 4, where I took uh, Sunshine Tidings Co-op and turned it into a campground, which was a nice transformation from what it uh, has been in the past. And there's my um, companion, Piper. At one time I had a glitch where I caught her running around the uh, campground in her underwear and um, it took a while for me to get the uh, speech dialogue to where I get in to trade her address so that she could be um, a little more presentable. Uh, at one time up there I said, uh, Piper you shameless hussy you, get some clothes on, you're embarrassing me. Well on with the show. This is the visitor center complete with uh, lounges uh, with TV and uh, stereo, coffee uh, uh, pot, uh, donuts, uh, TV, the office itself, which was fun to do, and also I've used um, um, some of the curtains from um, the uh, Nuka-Cola to dress up the office a little bit. And here's something new. Um, I've had this, but this is the first time I've used it. This is uh, from the ambush security uh, package, the picket fence from um, the Creation Club. Um, it also, it's part of, um, uh, there's another piece in here I'm using um, to um, dress it up a little bit. Okay. We'll start with the first cabin and we'll work our way around. This is a um, shed that has um, ghoul in it and the power supply for the part of the um, the settlement. Alright, here is the first cabin. It's mainly the kids cabin. Uh, couldn't get no door on it so we put this piece of paneling up in front of up there to block out the sun and um, also to block out uh, some of the wind. Um, we got three beds, uh, three bunk beds in here for a total of six kids, um, complete with the foot lockers, uh, toys, uh, chest set, and some other uh, toys here um, uh, on a table. And this, um, I fitted a lot of the cabins with these uh, fireplaces from the holiday uh, pack. All right, this is cabin number one. Also here, too, is another part of the um, ambush, or not the ambush, but the uh, security package that had the uh, six panel um, security cameras up there. This is a shooting gallery. Um, got it um, set up there so kids can learn how to shoot and uh, defend themselves. And here's where all the um, uh, a lot of the um, ammo and um, rifles, pistols, whatever. Coming around is cabin number two. This here is has for um, uh, two adults, or not two adults, but two families. Complete with a, um, a bench and coffee and TV and a basin to uh, so they can wash themselves up. Going around to the next one, this one here is the cabin that is pretty well banged up in the back, so we used it mainly to house a generator. All right, going to the next. Number four, these are kids. Um, enough for four kids, and it has a little place up there that they can uh, um, play with their toys on the table. This one here, I tried to get the uh, fire in it, but it just would not work. So, uh, I advise the kids in this cabin to wear long johns. All 
Alright, here is another cabin for two kids, complete with a TV set and couch. And we use also, again, we use the fireplaces from the uh, Christmas holiday pack. And I like uh, really made this uh, quite a warm cabin. But I, like I said, I was dealing with the build meter and it couldn't cover up the windows. There were a lot of things I wanted to do, but couldn't do it because I scrapped as much as I could to get what I um, deemed not necessary. All right, here is the next cabin. It is the clinic. And here we have proctometer, uh, uh, well not proctometer, but uh, to check the kids' eyes whenever they have get hit in the face with a baseball or whatever. This is the clinic, staffed by Dr. Kara, a good friend of mine. She's a surgeon that did my surgery for my spinal stenosis. And we got uh, two beds with um, uh, uh, pillows to put two kids in there. Here is um, her microscope and um, surgical tray and loaded with a lot of stuff in there like bone cutter and medic uh, medicine, whatever. Now here is a barbecue pit that has uh, angler meat and uh, blow um, bug uh, meat. And coming up uh, next is the cafeteria. Complete with refrigerator, stove, table, a donut display, a breakfast bar. Uh, it, it's got a couple more months uh, before we have the kids in for summer camp or spring camp. Here's a salad bar in the middle. There's the coffee um, station. Now here is the um, arcade pack that I just bought here about a week ago. And we put two arcade machines in here that actually play, believe it or not. I'm not very good at it. Oh. Reminds me of my old Atari. And like I said, they both play. And the game within a game. And here um, is the milk uh, dispenser and the Nuka Cola. I've got two stoves in there but due to the uh, length of the um, cafeteria. Um, there's a stove here and a stove down there, along with the picnic tables. The biggest thing out there, I wish they would have taken the, Bethesda would have taken the build meter out because I could have done a lot more with this. And here is a um, stove with a light in the middle of it. Now I got this idea from Jewel Smith when she built my um, um, steampunk workshop at um, uh, Echo Lake Lumber Company. She did a beautiful job on that. Uh, her, her creativity never ceases to amaze me. And um, let's see, what else can we do? All right. Now we come upon the um, sporting area. Here's a batter's cage, complete with uh, complete with bases. I got this from um, um, from one of the um, mainland shops. Um, um, tried to put uh, a higher backdrop on it, but um, it wouldn't just wouldn't fit. Now it sounds like the doctor's uh, practicing on 
the shooting range. Now here is the volleyball court. Now, Joel Smith built one um, at um, Dalton Farm and she did a beautiful job of setting up a uh, volleyball court where she used a uh, fence screen, two poles, and she did it so fast. I spent over half an hour trying to, to, to get the same thing done. I'm just not good with uh, pillar glitches like she is. She's fantastic on that. Now in here is the maintenance shed. Uh, I have uh, a locker up there that has all the baseballs and uh, bats and gloves and stuff. Along there were some here also. Um, the weapons uh, workshop. My um, X01. And there's um, combat armor and stuff in here. And here's the main workshop. And um, that's about it. I got one of the golden up here that um, well, was found up there and I blocked it up. So like I said, this is my uh, rendition of, yeah, there she is. Dr. Kerr up there is practicing on the um, shooting range. And she's doing a pretty good job. And ending, uh, here is the basketball court that I put in. Uh, like as I said before, along with the batting court or a batting cage and the volleyball court. And I like to say that uh, today being Thursday, the 7th of um, March, today is uh, the day that Jules Smith's husband, who's suffering from spinal stenosis, is in for his surgery. Um, for those who don't know Joel Smith, go to her channel. She does a lot of Fallout 4. And um, one thing about it up there that is the fact that uh, back in June of last year, I also suffered from spinal stenosis for three years. And I had my surgery, which was a success, thanks to Dr. Kara. Yeah, she's a real doctor. She did a great job on um, uh, me being able to uh, walk again. Um, also, too, what's unique is the fact that uh, Jules Smith uh, had surgery at the same time last year as I did. Uh, she was um, in for a different reason, but we were both in the hospital at the same time. We might as well say we're surgery buddies. Um, and she had her surgery on my birthday, June 22nd. So that makes it kind of unique. And here is my sign, Welcome to Sunshine Tidings Campground. Now, I built this as a campground because it reminds me so much of the um, campground that I attended uh, twice uh, when I was in grade school. I think it was about fifth or sixth grade and uh, tried to, to, to make it uh, a place where the kids could come, enjoy being away from the confines of the uh, um, uh, violence in the, never, in the uh, Commonwealth. And uh, I just wish that uh, Bethesda wouldn't have put their build meter in uh, because uh, I would have been able to do a lot more. So until then, uh, this is Michael from Jessic Biking wishing you a good weekend and see you again. Bye now.